Hello and welcome to Lumote. My name is Jess and we are doing a let's play and actually this is a a loud AC and a re-record because the original section didn't get saved on my computer so we're just doing parts one and two ish again. So welcome to Lumote where you are the cutest little blob in the known universe like my goodness and you're navigating this little puzzle world. It's very fun though that thing in the back is terrifying like that's like some serious red lava evil over there just a hint of things to come and we are in theory under sea and the most important thing to know right now is that if you ever play it yourself you should absolutely play it on a controller it doesn't have key bindings that can be changed and so oh my goodness it's a nightmare on a computer on a keyboard so just grab a controller You'll enjoy it so much more. Yeah, bye little sea anemone friendo. And yeah, you have these two worm anemones. You go up or down depending on what you're doing. And that's about it for what you need to know right now. So you can hit the B key on my controller and go forward. Right now we're basically in the tutorial because there is no true tutorial. We're learning as we go. Which is half the joy of puzzle games. And yes, we are jumpity jump. I'm looking at this now. Um, later in the game, this kind of laser situation becomes important, but it's not yet, so it's kind of weird to see the hints of things to come when we aren't there yet. That's okay. Yes, hello. It really is quite a joy to just see this world. And yes, the most important part of everything so far are little companion cube friendos who are very angry with us. Let's go. Boop, 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 boop. We cannot jump with them. We can't do anything besides flat surfaces. So small steps will become your greatest enemies. It's a thing. Whee. Yes. Be self-satisfied. Be happy. Be a little unidentifiable object, because I cannot tell you what species this is. My best guess is some kind of squished sea star with ears. And we're going to go with that. We're just going to go with that. Okay, and we jump, and we jump, and we jump, and we jump some more, and it's fantastic, and all is happy in our jumping. And we try to not fall off the screen. It is very easy to die in this game, I will let you know, just because the concept of where the edges can be not the most obvious. So if I die, it's because I have no clue where I am. It's great. Way. go. And right now I still kind of remember how the puzzles go, so that's nice. Come on. Let's go. Way. Everything's such satisfyingly blue now. It's very calming, this blue. Very soothing. I feel like I've seen the species of an enemy, though. Like, these tentacles look familiar. Oh, yes. You are not having it. We are having a day. Nope. Let's see if we can get a little bit further. Yep, a little bit. Let's see what this button friend does. Hello. Way. Is that enough? Yes. We have a bridge, and it's amazing. That spire over there, though, is terrifying. Like That's just intimidating. I would like it to be less intimidating. Okay, thanks. All right, we're going to play Move the Friends Around. So we have a bridge. There we go. It's a good time. I will say the puzzle pieces get considerably harder faster than you might think. Like, you're all, oh, these puzzles are easy right now. You're breezing through them. Like, no, give me a few minutes. It's going to get bad. It's going to get bad really fast. So these puzzles, I take an obscenely long time to beat. So hopefully we'll go faster in this walkthrough. So right now, I still feel like I am intuitively... I kind of know what's going on. As I grab the wrong piece, it needs to stay where it needs to be. But later, just give it time. It's actually really interesting, though, because these puzzles aren't the kind that I intuit very well. And here be lasers! Hello! Hello, friendo. Can't get you just yet. Ah. And so it's, it's a good thing to practice with puzzles that you're not good at. Seriously. Because that way you can learn from everything you m might need to think through. 
I know, that's a horrible phrase. The point is that with puzzles, it's really good just to think outside how you like to think and just think outside your personal box. Here we go, let's get this up here. It's not quite it, let's see, where do I need to go? Why are you upset? Why are you upset? Oh, there we go. And then boop. 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 There we go. I feel like I'm solving these way too fast right now, which is nerve-wracking. Like, it's been five minutes. This took me a lot longer the first time through. I will let you know. A lot longer. And the weird thing is I don't necessarily remember how these puzzles went. It's just I remember pieces. And that's kind of fun. Okay. Because, like, in this case, we got Frendo over here, who's interestingly stuck. Yeah, you're having a day. Way. And the cool thing is, as you can see, we have emotional states of the sea anemone tube worm thingies. If they're blue and you're they're red and you're blue, yeah, I can speak. There are different ways they go. So right now, they're going to do different things. I think that's really cool. So right now, they go down. And we try and get this one over here. And now we have our happy friend. Okay. And here we go. I think this is the right place to be. That looks pretty right. Okay. Jump. Jump. Hello. Yeah, you're having a day. This is a cute little puzzle. As in theory, you're all stuck. Oh my gosh, so much stuck. But then, but then you turn off the button. Wow. It's like a sea of anger at you that you can actually cross now. There we go. We go cross. And then we go jump. And then we grab our friend again. And then we go up. And hello, there you are. Ready to hang out? Be cool? Get some Froyo? Don't know if I've decided why they deserve Froyo, but they do. Don't really think any undersea animal should get Froyo. That's not healthy for them, but these guys can have Froyo. I still haven't figured out what animals these are based off of. I mean, clearly there's like a lot of sponges and siphonophores and things that kind of look like this, but can I actually identify anything? No. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Here we go. Meet the Mega thing. I think it actually has an in-game name. Have I figured that out? No, but it's like the Godzilla of this universe. Look at this. Thunk. That is so satisfying. Thunk. Thunk. And our spire, red spire thing down there is just angry. Why are you so angry down there? What are you so angry at? We're just doing our thing. Running around. Causing havoc. And there we go. Yeah, Wow is right. Also, it's kind of intimidating. Like, how big is this universe? This is pretty massive. All right, we keep going though. Further into the depths. Thanks for the ride though. Mighty kind of you. Okay, like where do these lasers go? Okay, just holding everything in place. Lasers are very important coming up, so it's just, what are they gonna do? Where are they going? Should I be going back there? I can't tell. Okay, bounce. And yup, and yup. Keep going. That's a lot of stairs. We're just gonna keep going down these very exciting stairs to our next checkpoint. And now lasers become important. There we go. I have to remember how this one goes. Okay. Okay. Oh, yes. We need to get Frendo up here. Hello, Frendo. Yep. You're not having your day, are you? And duck. Oh, that's not pleasant. Uh, I want them to be happy. They all deserve to be happy. There we go. You're down. Okay, get you out of the laser, and up you get. But do I remember how to get the other one up now? I think this one goes into one of the lasers? Which one? There we go. That was conveniently nice. Thank you for the very easy laser demonstration. 
Yay! Because we do need both of them coming up in order to beat this particular puzzle. I remember that much. Here we go. Let's go get our friend. Yay! We have a friend. I think we need to turn on this laser now. There we go. We have turned on a laser. Way! Laser is on. Okay, let's try turning on this button. What does this button do? Let's see. Will that work? That let's get across. Yay! We are across. Wow, I am just going through this at the speed of sound. Feels weird. Realize this took me way over a half hour the first time. Okay, apparently I remember more than I thought I did. Okay, now this section I do remember because it's really hard to do. That is, it's hard to do any kind of platforming on this. Yes, I made it look really easy. Let's just say the first time this happened, I did not succeed very well. And thunk! Oh boy. Okay, let's see. Will this do what I want? I'm trying to remember which is the way. Which way? Come on. Go block the laser now. Thank you kindly. It's either this. Let's see. There we go. And boom, boom, boom. And button one. And jump. And now I can go move and do the next thing. Yeah, it's really weird doing this again because seriously, the first time this was a serious amount of effort. I think the big knowledge here is if you're having trouble and feeling like you cannot solve this game, maybe try again and you'll feel better about things because you'll remember and solve them and understand them. Okay, oh, there we go. Ah, yes, the beginning of where I have trouble. So, this is what I've nicknamed the Magic Nudibrank. They're great. I call them Spot. Spot is fantastic. Spot is your friend. Spot will never let you down. So we have friend 01. Let's see, does friend 02 need to be here? Let's see, what does this do? We've got a button over here. Let's take it. Jump. But yeah, Spot is the best. Spot will take you anywhere the laser goes in the color that makes sense, that is blue. There are ways to use the red laser later that I'm really bad at, and it's kind of hilarious. But we are not there yet. This is just the laser tutorial level, as it were. Way. Okay. Oh, no! No! Oh, gosh. That was terrifying. Why did you do that spot? Why did you let me down? Why? What even happened? That was so awful. Oh, gosh. Okay. No. We will do better next time, Spot. We are doing better. Okay. All right. That little moment of terror down. Now we can finish the little mini section and keep going. And there we go. I need a moment. Like, I don't even know what happened there. Okay, so to somewhat explain what happened, because I can explain a little. Excuse me. Spot can actually auto move. So if you are leaving one of the little cube friendos on spot, spot can just keep moving on whatever pattern is available. That is, if you happen to have a blue friend, all the blue routes are open to spot and spot will just go in that route. If you have red, then it'll go on a red loop. Let's see. That's, which is useful actually in later levels of the game but not right now. Right now we're still figuring things out. Can I do something here? Okay. That's not useful. Okay. That's interesting though. What am I even trying to do here? Okay. So as you can see, they like to do a lot of, you can't quite get there moments. Let's try picking our friend up and going over here though. Let's see what this button does. Grab our friend, who can come along for the ride. Let's see if this button does what I want. Probably not, but it did something. All right, that was not very useful, so I think we need to go figure this out. Let's go over here. There's another button. Let's try what this button does. Over we go, come on, Spot. 
spot. Stay put, please. No running away on me. Oh, no. Oh, boy. Maybe... Okay. So what'll happen if I break that laser, then? Will it stay put? Tells you how well I remember this. Let's try. Since they gave us this nice little bridge and all, let's go block this. Okay, will this do something? Yes, it has done a thing. All right, so we'll go back to spot. Right in the magic new to prank. Magic new to prank boss needs its own theme song, which I am not going to figure out. Not today, at least. All right, let's try that. And yunk. Alrighty. So now we got that. Let's try going back. See what that does. Because now we don't need to break that laser so we can get our friendo. Can we pick him up from over here, though? But it would be nice to pick up over here because it's all nice and convenient. Come on. There we go. No, I did not mean to autopilot. No. Please stop your autopilot shenanigans. Thank you. Come on. There we go. Very, very exacting, this magical nudibrank bus. Here we go. Yes, you're not having it, are you, friend? There we go. Come on. Up you get. Onto your little button. There we go. And now we get to go to the next zone. It's very exciting. Oh, sorry. You? Indeed. All right, let's see what we got here. Got a fair number of friends going on. We've got some interesting angles. And we have a very stuck nudibranch. Okay. Which I feel like I haven't explained it. There is a nudibranch under there. If you can see, it's a little antennae. It's doing its thing. It's very cute. You can see how it has its little fins going on. And actually, you're sitting on its gills. This would be its gills. Yes. I'm, I'm not going to comment when I think about that, but that's a thing. Maybe it's a comfy ride. Maybe the new to bring is chill with it. I hope they're chill with it. That would be weird otherwise. All right. I've actually been playing for 17 minutes and gotten way farther in this game than I expected. So I'm going to call it here. And I will catch you next time. If you're interested in catching more of this game, I am streaming it on Twitch. Right now, we're going for Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays from 4 to 6 p.m. Pacific time. And I am way further ahead than this. So I'd love to say hi there. With that, catch you next time.